Good afternoon. I'm Tom Stoltz, uh, Cedric County Manager, here uh, today on uh, Wednesday, July 29th to give a COVID-19 daily update. Um, let's go through the numbers first. Uh, the, the United States uh, saw a 2.77% increase since Monday. Uh, total case count today, 4,380,871. Uh, the state of Kansas saw a 2.67% increase since Monday. Total case count today, uh, 26,870. Uh, state of Kansas deaths is 349. Uh, focusing uh, to the county now, Cedric County since uh, Monday went up 3.48%. So our total uh, uh, case count today is 3870 compared to 3740 on Monday. Peripheral counties are also seeing some case increases. Uh, Harvey County has 150, Butler 195, Cowley 146, Sumner 92, and Reno 217. Uh, of the 3,870 cases in Sedgwick County, we're showing 1,370 total recovered uh, we can talk about that in a little bit, that total recovered number, and also 38 deaths uh, as of uh, current. Uh, we do this every Wednesday, so our, just to tell you where we were a week ago, we had 2,918 cases in Sedgwick County. Today we have 3,870. It's a 32%, almost 33% increase. Uh, our recoveries uh, were tallied at 11.04 last week and have gone to 13.70. Uh, this week, that's a 24.1% increase in recoveries. And our deaths, uh, the most important statistic really, went from 33 to 38, the 15% increase. Uh, more than 51,000 Sedgwick County residents have been tested for COVID-19. Uh, and we had 251 people scheduled uh, at our drive through site today. Talk a little bit more about testing in a second. Um, the County Health Department continues to offer testing for symptomatic residents and people working in high profile professions that deal with protected uh, um, elderly and uh, compromised people. Uh, please call United Way of the Plains at 211 to start the testing process if you're interested in receiving a, a test. Just some general information, Sedgwick County COVID-19 website reminders. Uh, there is a new document for businesses uh, on the testing page of the Sedgwick County uh, COVID-19 website. The document describes the process of disease investigations, isolation and quarantine of employees. Uh, there is also a recovery reopening metrics available on our website. Our mobile testing vehicle on August the 4th, Tuesday will be at Cheney Fire Department. Uh, and on August the 6th, we'll be at the Colwich Fire Department. This morning uh, at our BOCC meeting, uh, there was discussion about um, the Coronavirus Aid Relief and Economic Security uh, Act, or CARES Act as we call it. Uh, we also had Dr. Elizabeth Oblaw of uh, KU Med uh, here today to talk about um, testing and some rapid testing solutions for the commission to uh, consider and begin to understand. Uh, she went through, uh, it was a very good session. She went through some very descriptive analysis of the kinds of testing available and what our community needs. I would refer you to that uh, video and watch that component if you're interested in that. Um, currently, uh, Sedgwick County is at the health department is uh, we're trying to do two to 250 tests a day. And we're pretty been pretty consistent in doing a couple hundred tests a day. The community uh, if you look at our, our dashboard, is averaging anywhere between 600 and 1,000 tests um, per day. So we have decent capacity today, uh, and, but we know we need more capacity. So that was the discussion this morning. Uh, we have made acquisitions in Sedgwick County to increase our daily testing capacity uh, to go from 200 to approximately 700. Uh, we're awaiting two pieces of machine to uh, do that. Uh, and of course, as everything with COVID, there's a wait time on that. So uh, six to eight weeks, uh, potentially we could have that capacity. Uh, Dr. Oblaw's discussion this morning talked about two proposals to the county to increase testing capacity. 
uh, uh, one through uh, Ascension and one through Wichita State University. Uh, we will continue to probe those and uh, hopefully as soon as next week have a, dis a decision from the Commission on which uh, of those options they choose to go with or both uh, or zero. Uh, so we will get more data around and we will be discussing that next week because we're trying to increase our testing capacity here uh, in Sedgwick County.